Hey, Marianne here. Listen, I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I create a group on Facebook? Well, I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to create a brand new group today. You can do it right with me. You can pause this video, follow along. The reason you need to have a community is because once you start putting yourself out there, you're going to want to have a place to gather your people. Yes, you have your email list. Yes, you have your followers. But a community is a place for you to to feed your people directly, to nurture them directly. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it right here today. This should be done for your business. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go click on this blue Facebook logo right here, and then I click on groups. Now I can see my recent activity and a bunch of groups that I'm in, but this is the magic button right here. Create a new group. Awesome. Perfect. So I need to name my group. First of all, I'm going to say the Utah craft swap. Okay. Choose privacy. If I leave this out to the public, anyone can see who's in the group and what they post. Privacy is only members can see who's in the group and what they post. Now you may decide to do public for your group if it's free. Great. If it's more of a, a group where you need to allow people to keep a little bit of privacy, like it's a marriage support group or you know something where they might want, want to display their information, then you want to click private. But I'm going to go ahead and make this public. Okay. So let's go in here and invite some friends. Okay. If, if I top, if I start typing in some names here, then it will send an invite to those people. You've probably gotten a lot of invites on yours, uh, on your notifications here for joining groups. I don't have to do this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and just proceed here. Okay. After that, I need to move this bar out of the way. I need to click create. All right. Now it's going to take me to the next step in the sequence. After it creates the group, oh, it's basically done. I can stop right now and I have a group and I have a place to connect to people. If I want to invite people to this group, I'm going to click share and I can post about it on my feed, just like you see right here. I can send it to someone in Messenger. I can share it with copying a link and I can use that link in my email. I can use that link in my uh, stories on Instagram. I can copy that link and text it to someone really anything that I want to do. Now let's go a little bit deeper and start to dress this group up. So I'm going to go back to this exit out of this page, the Utah craft swap. Well, what I want to do is finish setting up your group. You've got zero out of four steps completed. Number one is invite people to join. Number two is add a cover photo, then add a description, then create a post. So I'm going to add a description right now. This let's face it. Etsy is overrun with straight let's see products that are straight from from China. This is a place for crafters to buy and sell their products buy and sell supplies and connect with one another. Now my group has a description, which basically means people are going to be able to tell what this group is all about. Now I'm an admin in this group. Over here, you're going to see a lot of admin tools that will become more and more relevant as you go along. In fact, I'll show you some of the admin tools I have in my existing groups, but now I need to make the next thing. Okay. I'm going to add a cover photo, which means I'm going to click this and it's going to change this image right here. This is a static Facebook image. I don't need that. Static means it's not going to change. So I'm, I can choose from group photos. There are no photos in this group. Choose from my photos choose some illustrations. I can upload a photo, add a group affiliation, which means like uh, affiliate it with another group. I'm going to, uh, let's just find a photo or a, a Facebook banner on Canva. So let's go over to Canva, canva.com slash projects. And I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to search Facebook group photo. And it's going to size something automatically for me. Okay. It's got these photos right here and I'm going to say craft. 
Now it's going to do, oh, beautiful. Okay, so it's got some really cool things here. Um, I like the look of this one. I'm going to customize this template. And now I need to go back to Facebook and say, oh, what did I name my group again? The Utah Craft Group. The, oops. Let's click this, Utah. Utah craft and I'm gonna duplicate this group beautiful I'm gonna put buy sell um, share create Boom, okay. I'm gonna change this lettering right here. Finally, a place for you to buy, sell, trade your creations without being overrun by fees or uh, store bought, let's see, I don't, for, or cheap overseas fakes. Okay. This looks pretty good to me. I'm going to put this down here and now I'm going to put some more. Uh, let's see, I need to go to elements and actually I'm going to go to photos and look for some crafts. I'm going to look for some actually mala. Look for some malas right there. And I'm going to look for some um, paintings right there. I'm, I'm actually, mm, I don't really love that. Let's go to crafts. Um, oh, that's a good one. Okay, good, good, good. I'm going to reframe this over here so you can see the needles and the thread. And I'm actually going to reframe. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to double click and then rezoom into this image. Okay, now what's funny about this is I actually don't really like this blue and this yellow because my color scheme is a little more neutral. So I'm going to edit this picture and I'm going to change the color of that yarn if you can believe that. So check this out. If I do, um, I'm going to edit this, adjust, and now I'm going to scroll down here and look, it's got these colors kind of pulled out. I can change these colors and let's pick a color that is a little more, guys, look, I just made it a different color and I can change it. Ooh, I like that. Um, let's see what we want to do with the yellow. Do we want to make that um, a little more, I don't know, maybe something from this, maybe a minty color. Oop, I don't really like that. Actually, I don't like what it did to her hands. Definitely don't want to do that. Okay. We'll just leave it yellow. I don't really care that much. Okay. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and just need to change the size of the text. And I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger. Okay, good. I'm liking it. So I'm going to screenshot this. So I do command shift four if I'm on a Mac or you can go to, let me screenshot this real quick. All right, click save to clipboard or you can go to share and download, but putting it on the clipboard is really cool for me too. I just like to do that. And I'm going to go to upload a photo. Oh, you know what? If I download it, it's actually better. So actually, instead of downloading it, I just take a screenshot. And instead of right clicking there and say add to clipboard, which means if I control V and put that anywhere, I'm just going to be pasting it. But I can go back to Facebook and add the cover photo, choose or upload photo. And I can go to recents because I just did that screenshot and it'll open it up for me right there. Look at that. It's going to be so cool.
Boom, save changes. Now I have a group. Guys, how cool is that? It took me less than 15 minutes. We're only at 10 minutes. Step two of four completed. Um, I've got a description, invite people to join. I'll just invite uh, a few people from my list here to join this group. And now I can post in this group. I can create events in this group. I can add media. I can add files. I can add people. I can moderate that. So kind of fun. Let me go over to groups, my existing group right here and I can show you some moderation tools. So I've got no new member requests. I usually try and stay on top of that. Uh, admin assist here is kind of an AI version. They have no people suspended, no posts to approve, no messages to be that need to be removed. I can also approve a member if they are, you know, friends in the group, you know, this is automatic, decline a member if, suspend a person for a day if, uh, decline a post if, approve a post if. I also have a list of approved posters in this group. So in my group, I can approve an incoming post if uh, they're a pre-approved person. So I'll search for members and just pre-approve them. That way I don't have to confirm their posts. I can create all of these things about posting. If they start to spam, I can also kick them out of the group. I don't have a lot of people in my group that I need to moderate because I have amazing people in my group. The other thing I want to show you is this. In school, I have a paid group. Now, this has fewer members, but it is way more active because you have to pay to be in this group. Either just pay monthly to be in the group or you have to pay uh, to be a part of the Mastery Hive, in which case you get this group for free. Now, I have more information on that within this community. If you want to join this community, I'll put the link in the caption for you. In the classroom here, it'll walk through all of these steps of not just building a great community, but how to speak powerfully from stage. So if this was helpful, let me know in the comments, and we'll see you on the flip side.